Same-sex marriage supporters and opponents are turning their attention to Ohio, where the debate on the issue heats up again this week. Wednesday, federal appeals court judges will hear marriage cases from four states, including Tennessee and Kentucky. News Channel 5's Emily Luxon is in our newsroom now, and big crowds are expected to be on hand for this, Emily. Well, yeah, in fact, two overflow courtrooms have already been set up just so more people will be able to listen to the proceedings. Both opponents and supporters from Middle Tennessee will be hitting the road tomorrow to be part of a day that could have historic implications. Six years after Matthew Mansell married his longtime partner in California, he's still fighting to have his marriage honored in Tennessee. For us, in particular, since we have kids, it'll be really great to have that um, recognition that, you know, my marriage is the same as my parents when they were married. They, now they that fight takes him to Cincinnati, where the federal lawsuit he filed by, uh, last fall will go before judges on the Sixth Circuit Court so of Appeals. I, I want to show that I'm fully committed, you know, that we're actually fully committed to this, that it's very important for our family, and that we want to show that we support this 100 percent. Judges will consider a total of six cases from Tennessee, Kentucky, Ohio, and Michigan. It will mark the fourth time a federal circuit court has reviewed a marriage equality case since the U.S. Supreme Court struck down the Defense of Marriage Act last summer. Since that decision, every court has ruled in favor of same-sex couples. It'll, Executive it'll Director of the Tennessee Equality Project, Chris Sanders, is optimistic the trend will continue. Because we believe in the 14th Amendment, equal protection of the laws. And um, so we think that's the inevitable ruling. We're hopeful. We need to do the same thing. Matthew and other supporters will be watching and hoping for the outcome they've been waiting for. I'm just excited to find out if they're going to rule in our favor because that's what's most, you know, it affects me and, and my family and my, my husband. It's in the court's hands. We'll see what happens. Arguments will begin at 1 Wednesday afternoon in Cincinnati. It's unknown how long it will take judges to rule on this issue, but many supporters feel ultimately it will go before the Supreme Court. Now, as far as opponents go, members of the Family Action Council of Tennessee will also be in Cincinnati for the proceedings. The president tells me they will be monitoring the situation closely. Rory, back to you. Emily, thanks. The Williams Institute at the UCLA School of Law determined that more than 52,000 same-sex couples could be affected by the outcome of the five cases.